There are several ways cancer might kill someone. The most lethal cancers are metastatic, where a single cell breaks off, migrates, and starts a new tumor. The tumor can fill up any organ and prevent it from functioning. Generally speaking, if cancer takes over an organ that performs an essential function, it can kill you. For example, if the cancer is growing in a part of the digestive system, it can prevent the digestion and absorption of food. It can also block the expulsion of feces and lead to perforation, which is fatal if not surgically corrected. Another example is obstruction of the pancreatic ducts. This causes the pancreas to digest itself. Pancreatic cancer is among the most painful and deadliest types of cancer. If cancer affects the lungs, there can be too little effective lung tissue to allow oxygen to be absorbed into the body. If this is the case, patients may die from asphyxiation. This is the most common cause of death in lung cancer. The second most common cause is infection. Having cancer impairs immunity and chemotherapy compounds the problem by suppressing the bone marrow, the factory where white blood cells are produced. This explains why any kind of infection is especially concerning for people with cancer. The bone marrow's function may be impaired not only by chemotherapy, but also by the infiltration of cancer cells. When cancer grows in the bone marrow, there will eventually be inadequate healthy bone marrow to make blood cells. This has several implications. First, it will cause anemia, and insufficient oxygen will be carried around the body. Second, it will cause a drop in white blood cells. As these fight infection, it becomes more and more difficult to keep bacteria under control. And third, a drop in platelets will prevent the body from controlling any abnormal bleeding. Because the major organs are so vital for life, these are all parts of the body that are hard to operate on. Assuming the operation is successful and you remove the tumor without lasting damage to the organ, the tumor may grow back. All it takes is a few cells of the original tumor remaining in the body. This is why surgery combined with chemotherapy is important for treating these cancers. Besides organ failure, a cancer patient may suffer from wasting called cachexia. This is due to toxins released by cancer cells that inhibit appetite and affect the digestion of food, leading to rapid weight and muscle loss. Cachexia is estimated to occur in 50% of all cancer patients, and it's thought to directly cause up to 30% of cancer deaths because of heart or respiratory failure related to muscle loss. It even accounts for 50% of deaths in patients with gastrointestinal tract cancers and up to 80% of deaths in patients with advanced pancreatic cancer. Many treatments can control cancer for a long time, but if cancer continues to grow, it can become too much for the body to cope with, and ultimately, the treatment can no longer keep it at bay. At this point, it may be time to focus on comfort and quality of life. Know that good pain control is available, and no one with cancer should die in pain. You may have heard that giving strong medications such as morphine may hasten death. However, experts say that opioids are vital to relieving suffering and can prolong patients' life. Please watch my next video if you want to know more about this.